so I love me some peanut butter, but finding out what's in that crappy peanut butter made me feel like, yeah, we're not doing this anymore. So let me show you how to make it yourself. Some raw honey. You need some oil of your choice. I use grapeseed oil. And I just get regular peanuts. Cocktail with sea salt. That way you don't have to add the salt. And that's it. That's it. All I added was the honey and the peanuts. You can also use a high powered blender, a huge blender if you're gonna do a big batch. Depending on how you like it, you just continue mixing until it's smooth to your liking. If you feel it's too dry, just add a little bit more oil or a little bit more honey. And trust the process. If you like it chunky, leave it here, but I like it smooth, so we're gonna go a little bit smoother. Look it, guys. Hold on. Give it one more twirl. It does take a few minutes. I have to continue mixing it. And you can have this, do this in a regular food processor, but you gotta stay consistent. You will get a creamy peanut butter with just a little bit of baby um, chunks of peanuts. I mean, it depends on your food processor, but I'm gonna put this on some cinnamon raisin toast and put some bananas on top of it. And that's gonna be my meal, my starting meal for today. Cause I don't start eating until after one o'clock. So let me show you. I want y'all to really get in here and see the thickness and the consistency of this. Natural, great seed oil and raw honey. I know it's all in it. No high fructose, fructose corn syrup or anything that they do to preserve it with a little bit of Himalayan salt and it tastes. Hey my gators, I wanted to put this in here. So when I did this video some months ago, I did use grapeseed oil, but currently I have found out a lot of things about seed oils and how they are not as beneficial to the body as a avocado oil or olive oil. So if you decide to make this and you do have avocado oil, I would suggest avocado oil. I would not suggest olive oil because it'll give you an acquired taste and I don't think that's something that will be desirable in your peanut butter, but to each his own. I just wanted to let that be known. I am currently using avocado oil in my actual um, peanut butter, so. Tastes so freaking amazing and it's creamy. Gonna transfer this to a glass container for right now. All right, it is transferred and I can have that for a couple weeks. And guys, I also make my own strawberry jam. So if you're interested in that as well, remind me if I don't put the link below to put the link below. I have my strawberries ready because it is almost time to make some more. I wanted to pop back in and say, if you ever been to Whole Foods and they have the sunflower, almond, and cashew butter machines, this is basically the texture that you will get. Make it a little bit more creamier, but it'll be definitely resembling something like this when you get a natural, unprocessed butter. guys there's a lot of toxic stuff in our food and on my channel i share so many ways for you to make things homemade for you your family and you know what's inside of it and you know that you're giving them natural great good nutritious stuff because you made it and you know all the ingredients 
If you enjoyed this video, talk to me in the comments. I talk back. I'm sorry for the angle. I should have turned it the other way, but I do want it to be on other um, social media. So talk to me in the comments. I talk back. If I'm seeing you on TikTok or Instagram, just know that I do have a channel. It's how to DIY and save a dime. It should be in the bio or link below. All right. Talk to you later, Gators.